Look at me. Depop isn't your friend. That bitch is fake as fuck, okay? Depop is like that girl in your science class that was always kind of nice to you around her friends as a joke, but you could never tell how it was a joke because you were like, how is it funny that you're being nice to me? That's who Depop is and that's who you're giving your money to. Wow, what an intro. We're so creative today. Um, but if you're new here, hi, I'm Lucia. I make content about cottage core slash coquette thrifting and fashion and decor. <laughs> um, and today I wanted to make a video about how you can find cottage core and coquette items on eBay. Sort of my approach to eBay and also just like some search terms that can get you started on eBay. I know that eBay can feel like sifting through the garbage if you don't know what you're doing, so it just feels like an endless void. I wanted to make it a little bit less scary by taking you along on a little eBay journey with me. My qualifications for talking about this are that I won't shut the fuck up about eBay ever. Okay, so we are on eBay. Two quick disclaimers. One is that I always recommend going to a local thrift store if you're on a budget, um, just because in my area, at least the prices are always better than they are online anywhere. And two, if, if you are on a budget on eBay, don't search anything that could be an aesthetic hashtag on Instagram or TikTok because those things are typically gonna be more expensive. Anyway, one of the first things I would recommend looking for on eBay, if you were a coquette girly specifically, are vintage bed jackets, but I really prefer the ones that have buttons so that you can wear them as a shirt and so that they don't like fly open. So for example, like this one is $10.97 plus like $5 of shipping, but look how sweet and cute this is. I also really love when something is cotton. So I personally would add that to like my search terms. For example, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Also, if you are on a budget, um, something that I highly recommend doing is going to lowest price to highest price. I know it's self-explanatory, but um, you know, it can never hurt. This thing that I forgot to mention, which is maybe obvious, is that if you were a cottagecore and or coquette girly, you should be adding vintage to your search terms, which leads me to my next thing that you could be searching for. Novelty vintage purse pink, because I am true to myself. Okay, I already have a poodle purse, but this is absolutely adorable and it's like, $18? Can I do math? No, I can't. $19. I don't know. This phone is pretty fun. It's very Betsy Johnson. I don't know if it's actually vintage. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of expensive, but that is very cute. Yeah, I love novelty purses. I love adding novelty to any search. Like, I think that it just, like, makes for a more interesting search result. I'm just gonna, like, take away the price cap, and I'm actually gonna search by highest to lowest because some of these are insane. Okay, I'm gonna take away the search term pink. This is adorable and gorgeous and also $600. Another purse related search term that you can use, which is maybe obvious, but embroidered purses. I'm gonna add vintage, obviously. Okay, I was gonna say, why are these so expensive? Bitch, you're searching highest to lowest. Like, add, you know what I'm gonna add? I'm gonna add floral. So like what is more classically grandma than an embroidered like needlepoint purse? Relatedly, something you can search for are tapestry purses. I also really love to look at tea dresses. And I'm gonna add pastel just because I wanna look at like pastel dress and oh my goodness this teapot okay sorry this is so cute what the fuck i can't tell if that is the best way you could spend 23 dollars or the worst way oh this seems cute though this is cute i like that there's like a flutter sleeve question mark the fabric seems adorable and kind of like it might be annoying to clean because of the dry clean only thing but i like the lace detailing and this bow in the back is also very cute and okay another tip while we're at it if a listing says that you can make an offer, you should always make an offer because in my experience, bare minimum, you can get 25% off um, if you send an offer that is below the asking price. So definitely always recommend doing that. In fact, when you're searching, if you are on a budget, I also recommend doing, clicking on the uh, filter that says accepts offers because that uh, is a great feature of eBay. And you might think, like at least I did at the beginning, I was like, oh my God, like I feel so rude offering below the price. And I don't know, maybe it is. Not to be a bitch, you're never gonna see the person. So just send the offer. You can kind of type in a bunch of random words and just see what comes up. For example, like sometimes I like to type in Valentine's and then just like a type of items so like Valentine's sweater. I mean, already this is like kind of ugly, but it's also kind of the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. It literally has pearls on it, which like anything with pearls on it in hearts, Okay, this is easily the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my, this is so cute. This one doesn't have um, an offer, so you can't send an offer. <laughs> like you literally just have to pay this price. However, you could add it to your watch list, which is like your liked items on eBay. And when you add something to your watch list, the seller can see that you added it to your watch list. And a lot of the times they will send you an offer that is lower than the price. And you'll get a notification like, this seller sent you like an offer 
and then you can accept the offer and pay less than this price. So I always recommend if you like something, adding it to your watch list because there's a really good chance you could get it for a lower price, even if it doesn't have an option to like send an offer yourself that's lower than the asking price. Grandma collared sweatshirt could be huge. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. If we take out grandma collared sweatshirt and just type in vintage, like a bunch more will come up. Yeah, look at that, whoa. What if we typed in pink because why not? <gasps> Sorry, I'm like gasping. Like I've never seen anything like this in my life. I don't love the maroon honestly now i'm like what if i spent money and i'm like no girl what if you did oh my god this is hilarious i love that angles angels but yeah basically like collared sweatshirts are always great very grandma core very cottage core and depending on which one you get could it be coquette bow bow could be huge let's see bow sweater vintage pastel because why not oh my god that's so cute $22, depending on who you ask, some of these prices could be good or bad. This is outrageously cute and it comes with a tag. That's so cute. If you're looking at a listing and you're like, wow, I like whatever brand, like Objectives or Alfred Dunner, you can type that into the search bar and see what Clint Smith, that's cute. Now that we've looked at clothing, I wanna show you some home decor ideas that you can search for. The first of them being lace heart pillows, like this. This is the vibe I'm going for. There are so many little pillows like this on eBay. And I know because I've looked at them so many times and I wanna get them, but I won't because our cat would destroy them. Art pillows that are like little like wedding almost pillows are one of my favorite aesthetics ever. And I think look good anywhere. Like this could look good on a bed, on a couch, on a little chair. This is so cute. <laughs> Another thing I like to search for are plate covers and I'm gonna search pink and vintage because why not that is so cute oh my god this teddy bear is amazing Just unscrew like the light switch cover on your light switch and then you can screw this on oh i also really like um ceramic soap dispenser okay these are not giving i'm not gonna lie okay also like a misconception that i feel like a lot of people have about ebay is that you have to bid on everything and if you don't feel like bidding you can just press buy it now and filter by things that you can buy without bidding. Also going back to the Valentine's Day theme, because I really feel like as a coquette girl, you can't go wrong by searching anything Valentine's Day related. You could search ceramic Valentine box. Like this is so fucking cute to put your jewelry in or like, I don't know, anything you have lying around. Um, In the same vein, I love ceramic frames and specifically I feel like heart frames are really cute and there's a lot of them. This, there's 133 results. And for as low as $7, you too could have a ceramic heart frame at your door. Um, but yeah, there's so many cute ones of these. I will say one of the only things about a lot of ceramic frames is that a lot of them are only easel back, so they're kind of hard to hang on the wall. Also, I mean, this is obvious, but how could you not search precious moments? Hello, this is so fucking cute. This is absolutely delightful. It seems like there's actually no way to hang it on the wall, which sucks, but that's fine. Okay, also I've been embroidering a lot on pillowcases as like art pieces. And one particular like format of <laughs> embroidered vintage pillowcases are Belle. Like this is actually outrageously beautiful. Also this is, oh my God, this is so crazy. This is so adorable. Okay, and then one of the last things that I thought it would be fun to look at is just searching like Holly Hobby. Okay, amazing. Some of these are gonna be like, oh, is memory, a keepsake of the heart forever this is very cute oh okay but this is so cute and the last category i kind of wanted to like search along with you guys is generally just like craft and diy supplies because i find so many cute craft supplies and like diy supplies on ebay this one being any set of words followed by the word lot basically if you don't know adding lot to something means that you're going to be seeing groupings of things instead of single items listed floral scrap lot let's see let's just add vintage because i want old ass fabric like this is so cute oh my god these are so cute these are so cute i could cry and vintage valentine lot so clearly they also see that it would be intended for scrapbooking probably anyway sorry if this video was kind of unorganized but basically like the gist of the video is that like there's kind of no wrong way to search things on ebay in my opinion honestly sometimes if you're getting started just searching a bunch of random words can be like the most fun way to explore ebay and when i'm bored sometimes i'll just type in like lace lot 
and like see what groupings of lace items come up. So forgive me if I'm over explaining, but before the coquette aesthetic was popularized as a term, there was the shabby chic aesthetic um, for decades. And I highly recommend searching shabby chic if you like the coquette aesthetic, because a lot of older people will list things as shabby chic still. I got home from dinner and I'm editing right now and the lighting is really icky, so forgive me, but I wanted to throw more search terms up on the screen to give you more ideas. Feel free to pause if you want. Anyway, I know this video like wasn't really comprehensive in like being like an all-encompassing eBay guide, but let me know if you want to see a part two. I definitely have a lot more to say about eBay, um, but I don't know how interested people are in this subject, so I'm sort of trying to gauge. Uh, but I hope that at the very least this made eBay a little bit less intimidating and inspired you to go and search for some bullshit on eBay that you don't need, but that would be good to have. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and please let me know if you want to see a part two of this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Bye!